Hello guys. Welcome to mechanical presentation. Today we are going to learn how does actually a blast furnace works. What is a blast furnace? Blast furnace is basically a tall cylindrical shape made up of steel. By default the inside of furnace is lined up with fire bricks. The shape of the furnace is quite narrow at the top and gradually it increase and again get decreased. The top of the furnace is designed to introduce ore and outlet for waste gases. What are the functions of a blast furnace? The function of a blast furnace is to reduce and convert iron oxides into liquid iron called hot metal. The blast furnace is a huge steel stack lined with multiple refractory bricks. Iron ore, coke and limestone are put into the top and preheated air is blown into the bottom. There are different steps of iron formation starting from ore to getting raw material. Step 1. The formation of sinter. In the presence of heat, limestone, coke and iron ore are heated in oven to make sinter gradually, which is further added to the furnace as feed. Step 2. Cooling system. Cooling system is the most important thing while running a furnace. The outer case of the furnace is a water-cooled casing which prevents the furnace to get overheated by maintaining its temperature. In this figure you can see that the water stream is continuously flowing through the casing which is eventually protect the furnace. Step 3A Adding of raw material the sinter is added through a hopper which is present at the top of the blast furnace. The design of the hopper stops gases escaping through the top at the time of adding sinter. Step 3B Air is blasted in the bottom at point A When running continuously iron is run out through a tap hole drilled into the furnace at the bottom B the furnace can run continuously for up to 2 years Step 3C As the slag is less dense than iron it floats on the surface the slag is run out through a second tap hole labeled with C and wasted gases are pass out through the top of the furnace at point B The hot gases are used to preheat the incoming gases at A1 and A2. Step 3D In this figure you can see that different temperature distribution at different point in the furnace iron that forms in the furnace melts at the temperature of 1700 degrees Celsius the melted iron drips down to the bottom and ready for further process. In this video you can see the mixture is added to the oven. After the preheated process it added to the furnace. You can see that the water is continuously cool the furnace. The hot gases are charged from the bottom. At the bottom there is a road in which the hot metal are collected. The air is preheated at different stages and circulated. When carbon is mixed with oxygen it produce carbon dioxide as this reaction is exothermic it provides the amount of energy required to heat the furnace When carbon dioxide is again mixed with carbon it produce carbon monoxide which is act as a reducing agent this reducing agent takes out the oxygen from the iron oxide When the iron oxide came into the contact of carbon monoxide the iron and carbon dioxide gradually separated Thanks for watching mechanical presentation please subscribe the channel for more videos please comment below the topics you want